know, I had a thought today. Well, really, that's a lie. This thought has been running around in my brain for quite some time. If you haven't noticed, yeah, I'm black. Or some people go with African American, but I stopped at black because that's all I needed. But I'm not a minority. I never considered myself a minority. I never considered myself a person to be inferior or less than. How can you be major when you are thinking minor? Many people accept the labels that are thrust upon them. Sometimes they sit at the table with this big bowl of expectations with a spoon as big as Mars and dip in and dip in and dip in. And they eat that big bowl of expectations every day. Then they wonder why their lives are not what they want. Then this is where resentment walks into the room. This is where bullshit starts going out. Like, well, you know, those rich people. Yeah, it's the reason my life is fucked up is because of those rich people. No. They have nothing to do with your life being fucked up. It's those expectations that were placed in the bowl for you to eat that you, with that spoon as big as Mars, dipped in day after day, day after day. Now, what do we know about the food that we eat? We become what we eat. So if you eat those bowls full of expectations, Day after day after day after day after day. What else can you be but what's in the bowl? Have you ever thought that you could push that bowl away and go out there in the world and find some new expectations, some new dreams, some new whatever, a little this, a little that, but it's by your design. It's something that you want, something that you can sink your teeth into, something that you can become. What happens is, if you keep eating that big bowl of expectations, and the expectations are, you can only be this, you can only go here, you're a woman, you shouldn't be in STEM, ha ha, you're black, you should be in jail. You're Hispanic. Take your ass back to Mexico. These are the expectations that you hear from people who are the descendants of immigrants. The only Native Americans were the Indians. But people will swallow these expectations. People will eat them day after day after day. And then they will wonder, why is that life that I live when you hit the alarm clock one time, two times, three times, four. And then you wonder why your life sucks. Because the crime was not having the bowl of expectations placed before you. The crime was taking that big ass spoon, big as Mars, and dipping. The first time that you dipped in the bowl and you said, this shit doesn't taste good. This is an acquired taste is what they told you. So you swallowed the bullshit before you swallowed the bullshit. You can live a life of design, intent, and choice. But see, there's something no one tells you. Freedom is fucking expensive. Freedom doesn't come cheap. Freedom doesn't come to the weak. Freedom doesn't come to the cowards of the world. Freedom is something that you have to work your ass off for. It's not a entitlement. It's not an expectation. It just doesn't happen. If you want to be free, you must raise your paw and declare your freedom and get to work. But what happens to most people is they see that bowl and then the expectations become an expectation. I want my bowl. I want my enslavement because see I want a major in the minors I don't want to be something major I'm cool with being the minority I'm cool with being disenfranchised I'm cool with being whatever they tell me to be because along the way when I was like this little or 
you were that little or she was that little or whoever else was that little as they got from that stage of everything was wide open the world got really fucking small because you love the taste of those expectations because you don't know how to think but see if you accept the label of minority that's what you will be because you are what you eat If you've been around for a while, you know that I usually only put up one video a week or one video every two weeks or three weeks when I feel like it. I am trying, that's an intent, not saying it's going to happen, but I'm trying to put up videos Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Monday will be the hustler mindset. Tuesday will be a story. And Wednesday will be what I call hustler mindset philosophy. A lot of the things that I thought about, things that have run around in my mind, I want to share with you and hopefully make you better. And maybe, just maybe, we can do what we want to do with this thing. So you're going to hear some stuff you've never heard before. I had a wonderful hangout with a client in Israel today, and we got into some deep stuff. And I just realized that the things that I think are normal, because uh, you know some of my friends call me the unicorn because I kind of think in a enchanted way and it's really I'm not enchanted and I don't think in an enchanted way it's just I'm not a minority and I don't think like one that's why when I'm on Facebook and I have these radically different viewpoints of what are people are saying about police brutality what they're saying about poverty and the rich in the system I don't look at it through the same lens police brutality is a problem but I think low fucking expectations is a bigger problem. I've actually yelled at a cop and I know, I know, I know you're going like, hey, hey, you're exceptional. And no, you know, he was on the bat. No, I've done this shit before. I've actually screamed at a judge and got away with it because I am not a fucking minority. I don't walk into the fucking room thinking I'm going to lose. But you do. And that's a fucking problem. You cannot be major when you think minor you cannot have a major mindset with a minor perspective it does not work that's called incongruency that's oil and water it doesn't mix you have to walk in with the expectation with the mindset with the hope the energy that you're gonna win and part of that like I said before Freedom ain't fucking free. It's something that you have to earn. It's something you have to take. It's something you have to claim. Because like it's a shirt, hustling ain't for sissies. Freedom is not for sissies. Wealth is not for cowards. Yeah, that's right. Wealth is not for cowards. You're not going to get rich being a scared little bitch. And when I say rich, I'm not talking just money. I'm talking freedom. Freedom of choice. The ability to be your damn self whenever the fuck you feel like it. That is, to me, the greatest form of wealth there is. To be your damn self and not worry about the repercussions when those who are majoring in the minors have a problem with you when people who have given up on their dreams who are people who have said you know what i like it here in scared little bitch land i like it i like being raped in the forest by whoever comes into the meadow and says today that sheep is my bitch i would have more respect for you if you went down fighting if you died in the midst of being raped because that meant you gave a damn about your fucking self. What we're going to do here with the Hustlers Mindset Project is expand perspectives, broaden your knowledge base. And I'm going to tell you some stuff that's going to blow your wig, twist your mind and make you smile or shock the shit out of you. Because once again, the reason I'm doing this video and the reason I had my little soliloquy at the beginning is... I am not a minority and neither are you. As long as you keep thinking minor, major shit's not going to happen.
That's why you don't get the girl. That's why your family fucks with you. That's why people treat you like shit because they know they can get away with it. You know, I believe in God, but I'm not a Christian because I believe in revenge. I believe in payback with a vengeance. And I've done some shit in my life, and more than likely before I take that final dirt nap, I'm going to do some more shit in my life. But see, I don't fuck with people unless they fuck with me. I'll give you one chance to walk away. I'll give you two. I'll give you three. But on that third time, brace yourself. Get ready and know that the shit that's coming is something that you have fucking earned. And you got to have that, that mindset about everything. You cannot let life push you around. You push life around. You grab life by the choke, get by the fucking neck, and you squeeze until life says, I'm your bitch. Whatever you want, I will give you. What you need, I got. Because you are pushing me around. But as long as you are like, Oh, life is fucking with me. They're fucking with me. I can't do nothing. Oh, God, someone come save me. There's no fucking Superman. There's no Spider-Man. There's no Thor. There's no Incredible Hulk. There is just this thing called choices and expectations. Those are your tools to build your life with. That is what you need to be who you want to be. Understand, when you're born and you come out and you go, Wah! the world is your oyster. Everything is yours. You just got to claim it. But before you can claim it, before you can understand it, you need to know that freedom ain't free. Once you understand, and you know my favorite saying, and many of you know it, don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. Learn the fucking rules so you can win. And part of learning the rules is some of the rules are not in the rule book. And you're playing by the rule book when 80% of the rules are not in the rule book. And you wonder why you're fucking losing. That's why. I will tell you the truth. I will let you know what's going on. And I will shed some light in some fucking dark corners. Because when I went through my ejection from the matrix see i didn't leave the matrix voluntarily i was kicked out i was holding on to the fence you know they were like you know there's like no this lamb's fucked up this lamb's got some issues there's something really wrong with this lamb get his ass out and i was like no i want to be in no don't don't let no 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 and then lights came on and i looked around and i saw grass and I saw the mountains and I looked up and I saw the sky and I was like shit this can be mine and I got scared I got real real fucking scared you know why I got scared because nobody told me how to get that shit there it was right in front of me everywhere it was like this is it this is it this is a possible this is a possibility but no one said here's the manual here's the guidebook here's the rules so i had to create my own hence the hustler mindset project the hustler mindset that is the user's manual to having the proper attitude to weather this thing to own this thing called life so understand if you are constantly getting your ass kicked if you're constantly feeling marginalized, understand that you keep eating from that big fucking bowl of expectations and until you push that damn bowl away, until you throw that big ass spoon, big as Mars away, you will continue to be minor. All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you in the next session. And for those of you who are still here, I got something for you, so hold on. Well, you made it this far in the video. You made it to the end. Congratulations. I've got some uh, juicy stuff for you, I believe. So we shall see how this rolls out. Okay. Finally got around to creating the Hustler Mindset Project shop. It's kind of like a blog, but it's mostly a shop. And this is what's for you. This is the new thing. I started the original Hustler Mindset Project in 2012. The original premise was working on mindset. 
Then it kind of morphed into this thing that was somewhat married to resell. And it really essentially wasn't what I want. It wasn't the vision. That was the problem. It wasn't the vision. It was good and people got benefit, but it wasn't the vision and it bothered me. Well, now we're on to the vision. As you saw, I'm giving away the storage auction book, the garage sale book, the Craigslist book, and the 10 essential steps to hustling. You can get it if you want it for free. And if you want to throw a few shillings on the table, you can. So I freed myself and it's very liberating so I can do this. And I'm going to tell you what this is. The Hustler Mindset Project Personal Development Program. Now, what the hell is that? That is essentially everything plus more. Now, how could it be everything when everything should be everything plus more? I'm going to break it down for you. So it will forever be broken now. Essentially, you get access to the private video portal forever and ever. Once you sign up for this, you're in for life. You like jumped in. But what makes this different is I become your personal consultant. Now, what does that mean? Going back to been doing webinars and talking to people and training people on license, literally to late 2009, more so 2010 and 11. And I noticed that the people with the best outcomes had hands on training conversations. And then I had to make a choice. It's like, okay, I'm riding these two horses and my nuts are about to split. So what am I going to do? You don't do resale anymore. And you're just, and I've always been really interested in how the mind works, how to make your memory better, how to be more focused. These are books and things that I've read that I really haven't shared with you. And that's going to be part of this program. So essentially you get the Hustler Mindset Portal, the complete Gumroad catalog, and this, I am going to give you an intensive, customized program for you. First step, we evaluate you. We talk about you. We talk about your life, your family. And this, this, is, and this is why I had to set it up like this. Because the people who are in the program right now, for, someone signed up last week. We have talked three times already. Three times, 30 minutes to an hour. And the first one was the evaluation. Then the brother's wife into it. And then I talked to her. And then we're doing some stuff. Because what I've learned is it takes time to get into the mind and pull out stuff. And find out this about you. That's just not going to happen in this neat little 30-minute session. Or this. It's just not. So what I've done is I freed myself up to do more of this properly where you get benefit and I can walk you through stuff. So the first month, we're going to talk quite frequently, minimum twice, three times a week. You will have a custom program tailored to you and your strengths, what you do. And that's one of the things that so many people miss because it's like, give me a program. And you see it in Facebook with all of these groups it's like someone to come in and they'll knock it out the park and other people are suffering because that program accentuated the strengths of that person what else with other people who were failing they needed more help that's the problem it wasn't like they were dumb everyone learns differently and that's something that i've come to accept and understand about a lot of people so this is the this is the mac daddy program you we talk and what I do is Google Hangouts, private Hangouts, and then once the Hangouts is over, you get a link, and it's yours forever and ever. You can go over it. You can watch yourself. And in the first month, there may be 15 to 20 Hangouts where we're going to talk, get you on the right path, answer any questions, and it's going great because I've freed myself from certain things. Now, for those of you who don't want all that but want the personal development project, then there's the Hustler Mindset Project User's Manual. This was really what the Hustler Mindset Project was supposed to be in 2012. I am writing owner's manuals to your mind, to your Hustler Mindset. So you get the online portal and you get this 30-day mindset course. 
talk to you, but not as much as the people, you know, once a week probably, maybe twice, and there's a lot of emailing, and once again, I'm going to probably tweak this some more, get an assistant to handle some stuff, but you still get everything that goes down in the Hustler Mindset private portal, plus this really intensive personal development program. It's going to be kind of crazy, but it's effective. Then for those of you who don't want all that, you get the complete Gumroad catalog. You can do what you want, how you want. And when I say you get the complete Gumroad catalog, you also get one 60 minute session with me. Guaranteed console rate of 500 for now and forever. 50% off live events does not include travel uh, as if they come up. So if you're on that plan, you'll get the email. Hey, we're going here. You want to show up. It's 50% off, or in some cases, it might be free. just depends on what's going on in the venue. So that's what's going on. Then for folks who are just really kind of don't want all that, this is the mini Mac Daddy. You'll, you'll get these manuals because they're going to be audiobooks, ebooks. As we go back, as we go back, ah, you heard me, Internet. You'll get all of these books, and there's one more. It's not pictured because it didn't really fit into the picture, but there's another one. So you'll get all that. And a growing library of digital products. So many books, so many things, and I can tell you something that's going to be huge. Really, really huge. I'm going to do a special section because everyone that bought disruptive mating is going to get this because it works well with that course but i'm gonna there's a book there's, i don't know there's some more work that needs to be done but it's going to be essentially dealing with child support issues custody things that i had to go through and a lot of men don't know i was talking to someone today and he was you know going through a child support order and they were in a different state and i said well you know they have no jurisdiction over you so what do you mean well, your state has jurisdiction over it. He didn't know that. And it's just simple little stuff like that. Well, I shouldn't say it's simple. It's because you've been, you know, you're told that you need an attorney. And I will tell you, I got a child support case dismissed on my own without an attorney. And I didn't spend a lot of money, but I spent a lot of time studying. And it, that type of stuff. And that's one of the reasons that I've kind of pulled back and once again, to be the dead horse, that's why I don't hang out in the reseller uh, webinars and hangouts because I'm not a reseller anymore and I'm moving straight ahead to the Hustler Mindset Project. I'm moving ahead to intensive personal coaching, putting together businesses and using all of this knowledge that I've acquired over the last 20 years to help people have better lives, better finances and more fun. So that's what's going on. If you don't want all that, under every video, it's links to courses and books. Knock yourself out. So with that, thanks for getting to the end of the video. Now you're officially at the end of the end. And I will see you.